my button! Man, when I tell you that Sonic Frontiers is the most ambitious title we've had in years, actually, that's not really that much of a disagreeable statement. But you know what, let's stop looking at the past and start looking at the present. What we currently have right now is Sonic Frontiers. This is going to be the new look for the series, and I'm actually really looking forward to it. If you guys have been following my channel for a little while now, especially when the Sonic Frontiers news first came out, you'll know that I was always optimistic about this game. I was always someone who was rambunctiously excited for it, even with knowing very little information. I was never really one that was on the fence with this game, and that's not because I thought it would be good, but I knew that I was going to be happy with the end result. And one of the biggest reasons for this is because I knew they were actually putting time in on this game. This game actually looked like something new. They were trying something different with Sonic. And it reminded me of a time period where Sonic was always trying something new. And Frontiers really looks like it could be part of that time period for me. The more news and information we get about Frontiers, the more I get excited about it just because I'm very much anticipating the release of this game to finally get my hands on it and try it for myself and really see if this is a game that I will have fun with, and I really think it will be. Putting aside my uncontrollable optimism for a second, I do want to mention that this trailer probably should have been the first one we've ever gotten. I mean, I know I say this in every Frontiers video I ever make, but if we really look at the information here, we don't have a ton, but we have enough to know what's actually happening. Now, this is titled a story trailer, but to be totally honest, I don't feel like there's a whole lot of story content here. Like, we knew Sonic's friends were getting kidnapped and we finally get to see that here, but we don't actually know why, why Sonic is on the Starfall Islands and what sends him here in the beginning, and we don't even know what actually is going on with these villains known as Sage and these other weird, mysterious-looking villains. And speaking of the term mysterious, this entire game, including its marketing, has this cloak of mystery just draped all over it, and it only shows us little snippets of what we're supposed to see. And like I said earlier, this is likely going to be the last trailer, so I feel like everything we see here until now is kind of like we're going in blind. I feel like there's so much information we haven't seen yet, and we know there's going to be five islands, but I think we've only seen maybe two of them. And the second one is just finally showcased in this trailer. And I don't want to come off like I'm complaining, because in truth, I'm not. A little while ago, this probably would have been a complaint, but I feel like now we actually have enough information to say that this is actually fine. I feel like this could have benefited much more if it had been the first trailer we've ever seen, but that in mind, at least we finally got it. And although I may disagree with the term story trailer, I think it's the most story they're ever going to show us up to this point just so they can keep that cloud of mystery over it. I mean, they got my money anyway, so what does it matter? But enough about the nitty gritty stuff, let's get to the actual trailer itself. Like, I'm loving what they're doing with Sage. This character seems so interesting. At the very beginning of this trailer, she paints Sonic as if he's the bad guy, claiming that he needs to get off this island as he's causing problems. And we know the blue blur, he's not supposed to cause problems, he's the hero. So what is actually happening here? And in the beginning of the trailer, Sonic doesn't fight her, almost to imply that maybe he doesn't want to, but he fights her minions like it's nobody's problem. And by the way, these things are not attacking her. So that's the reason why I called them her minions. The way these things just ruthlessly seem to attack Coco's, these defenseless little creatures, they're just out of their mind, completely out of line. Oh, and by the way, I should probably just go ahead and talk about these CG trailers for a minute. Hold on, I hope these are real cutscenes for a second because these are absolutely spectacular. I had never seen Sonic move so fluid, or correction, I haven't seen Sonic move so fluid in a very long time. This looks so well done. You can see there's a huge graphical difference from that we've seen in Sonic Forces from their CG trailer. And this... I mean, this looks stellar. I really hope that these are not just trailer exclusives here. I'd love to see these as actual in-game cutscenes. I don't know if they'll do it, but please, please, Sega, give us those again. You did it before, you can do it again. This is a big and grand enough scale to have cutscenes like this. But I digress, after this little cutscene here with Stage talking to Sonic and basically telling him to get out of here, we get to see some more gameplay footage, and this is some new shots of a new cyberspace area which looks to be like a Sky Sanctuary level. Then we get more Green Hills, which I know not everyone is thrilled with, and then we finally get to see the new area full of sand, the desert-themed island. 
According to the Sega PR, this island is called Ares Island. Forgive me if I butchered the pronunciation. They seem to be going with a Greek theme for these islands, as the first one was called Kronos Island. I'm not sure if that's going to have any significance going forward, but I just thought it'd be interesting to point out. Personally, sand levels have never been my favorite in video games, but hopefully that changes with Sonic Frontiers. Then we're brought to another CG cutscene, which I personally believe might be the best thing in the entire trailer. Sonic sees a captured Amy. This is our first official look at the other characters in this game, and Amy, of course, is going to be our first one here. It seems like Amy is actually a pretty important character in this game. Not only is she the first one showcased outside of Sonic the Hedgehog, but also she was in the first trailer as she was the one that said Sonic over here at the very beginning. This could just be a total coincidence, but I really hope it's not. It'd be nice to have Amy get some more time in the spotlight than just being your relegated background character. I failed to mention this earlier, but this is actually the first time we hear Sonic talk in the entire trailer. He's really quiet throughout the entirety of it, and the only time he speaks is to acknowledge that his friend has been captured. We can hear the serious tone of Sonic's voice as Roger Kirk Smith really shines in these few seconds of dialogue here. I mean, he absolutely kills it. But going back to that CG I talked about earlier, did you notice that Sonic is using a lot more of his eyebrows now when he's looking at things? You notice he used to use a lot of the eyelids, but now I'm seeing more of the brows. I even made a whole video talking about this, which you should definitely go check out right after this one. But it's like they heard our cries about how the animation of Sonic the Hedgehog was a little weird recently, and they actually followed through. And I really wanted to note this because this is awesome. But anyway, as the CG for this part begins to wrap up, we're given some more gameplay, and then we get to more CG and we see a corrupted Sonic and he's got this like red glitched out arm and it looks like he's in a lot of pain as he clutches it and stares at a bunch of enemies in front of him. I even said if Sonic gets a new form in this game I'm gonna eat my phone on Twitter because to see Sonic X as a new form is something that I've wanted for a very long time now. Of course it had to be in the right setting but this certainly seems like it so if we don't get a new form in this game I don't know when we'll ever get one again. Anyway the corruption wears off and Sonic is told once again by Sage that she must leave the island which causes Sonic to charge at stage get blasted back and we get to see the CG from before where Sonic is looking up at this giant colossal monster with Sage at its side. The trailer ends with a release date of November 8th 2022 and of course it'll be on all consoles and we even get to see some little bonuses for pre-ordering the game an adventures treasure box. Outside of that, there's not really a ton here to analyze, but there's a couple other things I do want to discuss outside of the trailer and just give my general thoughts on everything. And yes, I will still be picking up this game on Nintendo Switch just because I love Nintendo and I would love to play this game on Switch and yes, which is my favorite console. But anyway, for those of you who are also thinking about getting on the Nintendo Switch or maybe even more just on the fence, the game actually does look very good on Switch. Of course, the quality is less than that you would get on a PlayStation or an Xbox, but that was to be expected. The game still looks pretty good and holds its own very nicely. Outside of that, we got some official renders of Amy, Tails, and Knuckles. And quite honestly, these have been the best renders of these characters we've seen in a while. And I know I said about just about everything Sonic Frontiers has presented so far, but I'm not lying when I say this. I I truly do believe that Frontiers has provided us some of the greatest Sonic content that we've seen in a very long time. There is a ton of other merch and pre-order bonuses that I'm not going to go into in the video, but it's not very hard to find online, but if I did go into it in the video, it would be like me droning on for a little while, and honestly, that would be pretty boring. But anyway, Sonic Frontiers looks extremely impressive to me, and overall, I'm still very excited to see what this game will come out to be, especially since it's going to be $60, which is actually the market price that Sonic games used to be, and games in general normally are. And Sonic, if you know, has not been sold at this price for a very long time, and it's glad to see that they finally are going back to this because it shows that they have some confidence. Sega, as well as Sonic Team, are gaining that confidence back, and it's making me, as an individual, very confident for what the end product may be. But anyway, what are your thoughts on Sonic Frontiers? Do you think this will be a great Sonic game or do you think otherwise? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to see what you guys have to say, even if it is a rather negative comment. I still want to hear from you. But anyway, if you like this video, like always, leave a like and subscribe on it letting me know that you enjoyed it. And that lets me know that you want to see more content like this in the future. Anyway, now's a great time to chat my legendary channel members. Thank you all so very much for supporting me and my channel and creating the best possible content that I can 
create. Videos like these and many more would not be possible without you. If you want to become a member of my channel and unlock access to all kinds of exclusive videos, there will be a link in the description down below. But if you want to support me through other means, I have a merch store and you guys can check out all sorts of Sonic to swag, whether it be hoodies, hats, t-shirts, you name it, we got it. The link will be in the description for that as well. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. This is Sonic Sound and Out. Have a super blessed day, y'all. Why are you playing that trash?